my job now is my hobby. So of course I want to do that 24 seven. I just love coding, I love data. That's my passion in life. I find the term startup uh, a bit peculiar. Uh, it's, it's kind of labeling some people, are you startup, are you not startup? I don't think this is about it. It's about uh, you know, uh, doing what you love. Actually, one night, uh, I was in my pajamas, almost ready to go to sleep, and one of my friends called me and said, okay, you have to meet this guy, he's amazing, and you have to work together. So I quickly dressed up, I went to the restaurant they were meeting at, and uh, we spent the whole night talking with Rand. When we started a couple of years ago, we were more like an innovation lab around data science. And the first focus of our company was smart cities, how to make cities more efficient, uh, more uh, agreeable to live, etc. We worked on predicting passenger flow public transport, predicting car accidents, and even predicting crimes. We used to go and work with large companies who had data and for whom we created products. It was paying well. We, we did a, a lot of things with them, but ultimately it was a bit frustrating because we couldn't go as fast as we wanted. So we said, okay, how can we make our own stuff so we can do what we really want to do? So. Um... I remember quite clearly that was, uh, I think, in April or May last year. We were sitting in a, in a bar uh, discussing about uh, what should we do, as we had done for the past few months. And, uh, and we started thinking about, wouldn't it be really, really nice if, if our phone just started knowing a bit about us uh, and could anticipate that actually we're going to leave in half an hour from this bar because it's late. Uh, so why can't it just uh, have an Uber ready for me when I stand out? When we understood the impact of artificial intelligence and a relationship to technology in the future, we decided to reinvest all of the money we had made up until that point to create the technology that we were missing. We stopped uh, all consulting uh, from that day and we never looked back. So the next morning we started working on this new project. So what we're trying to build is how can we make the technology so that whenever I, I wake my phone up, Everything I need right now is displayed on my screen and I don't have to ask the phone for it. We want to be able to predict which app and what content you're looking to use within those apps without you having to go through all of those intermediary steps. We realize that now we need to grow. We need to become um, something much larger than what we initially set. to. We are not uh, a data science company, we are not uh, a research lab. Uh, we were actually uh, aiming for the large public and create a real product uh, with real uh, use uh, uh, every day. When we uh, decided to fundraise for the first time, we didn't really know how to do it. So, you know, we went online, looked at all the blogs on how to raise money and everything. And we did exactly like we were told. You know, very lean slides, one sentence, very visual, really focusing on products. You know, after failing a few times and talking to a bunch of different investors, we've decided to ignore every advice we ever received on fundraising. We've done it the way we believe it should have been done. So we focused the message on the vision we're building, on the team and on the technology. Overnight, it was a huge difference. Then the next week after we changed our pitch and basically did the opposite of what everybody says you should do online, we got our first term sheets. And now was the time to actually create a product that works. And um, it's, been, it's been a long ride. Uh, we've realized uh, uh, how many, that, that we've been making mistakes over and over again, uh, because creating such a product uh, is incredibly difficult, actually. It hasn't been done before. A lot, of, uh, a lot of big companies are trying to do it. Very clearly, we're interested in the same thing as Apple and Google and Yahoo and Microsoft. Everybody sort of, sort of knows today that we need to reinvent this interaction with machines. The big difference is that we do it by guaranteeing privacy by design. The cool thing uh, with having uh, American investors is that the first thing they told us was uh, concentrate on the product, concentrate on the technology, don't even ask yourself how to make money because this is not the point. Money will come when it will be the time for it to come. But right now, what you want to do is build the best team, build the best product, build the best technology, and build the best uh, experience for people. Our goal with this company is not to make a quick financial profit. 
Our goal is to put our artificial intelligence in every device on the planet.